I got on actually a custom 2015 piece walk away, you know what I mean? It's not even in delivery yet, you know what I'm saying? Thanks to the system. This is the only piece, you know what I mean? So I'm rocking that. But we're gonna show some pieces. But I wanna take you to, you know, uh, another part of the headquarters, you know, show you some pictures, some plaques, and we're gonna talk about some other things. You know what I was thinking about, sis? I was thinking about getting your take on today's state of hip-hop is the state of, you know what I mean? How you feel about anything? Um, I would say, uh, who you feeling? Anybody in particular? Like, you know, you got the ASAP, Marv, you got Joey Bash, you got Axel Bronson, you got the whole TDE in the West Coast. Um, you have, uh, wow. You have a lot. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I ain't gonna run, you know what I mean? But what do you, what do you like the most and what do you feel about it? healthy but at the same time it's definitely it's definitely not how it used to be and you know I'm not stuck in the past but there's no substance there's really not enough content in hip hop again knowledge knowledge is the main element so there's not that element Still feel the tinge of that like 90s kind of vibe, but 
today plus. That's what I got when I seen, um, shout out to my boy Cootie, and she gave when create the show, when I seen mm -hmm. this first video of survival tactics that they did. That's the feeling that I got. Word. That's what she broke down. Right. Like, yo. And that's what, how is he? And that's just me personally, right? right? That's what I like. I'm so everybody might not like that. Okay, um, but, I, but I do like that. I got you because it, it, it gives you that feeling right. of, of the essence. Right, absolutely. Um, um, let's speak about uh, the age Fashion of wise, that's who you were talking about mm -hmm. just now for me. Like, right. I see them taking chances, mm -hmm. and um, I like that. You know, I think that that's what, that's what hip hop is. Real essence of hip hop is about taking the chances. People not, might not like all of them, but you respect that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, push the envelope. I think. Like I said, their last video with Method also sure, reminded right. me of um, something that was grimy, gritty, and back in the day, but now. And mm -hmm. I, I like that, you know, and then I like where they take it in other places. It's funny that you said that because, um, cool, you, you were tight with one of the ASAP Moss members' father, right? Right, first. He first. He first. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. He, he, he was very, very close with me back in the day. We started around the same time. And anybody that knows Ferg knows that Ferg was like the mayor of Harlem, you know what I mean? And uptown and just like So you could see his son. You could see it in yeah, his son. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know that till um okay, I'm gonna shout out I killed from Rex in effect right now. Wow. So he okay. bought some stuff and he came here and we were just chopping it up and he explained to me that was his son, and I was like, okay. And when I pulled up the picture and really took a good look, I was like, you know, you get it. But, like, that, it's a small world. It's and crazy. And, and me and Fern were tight. Tracy Waples, all of us, we used to mm -hmm. hang there. And we kind of, um, he, he was making everybody's stuff uptown, you know. That's all incredible. Shirts, That's screen incredible. printing. I used to go to the spot. Did he do, I heard, uh, I don't know you can confirm, I heard he did the bad boy over um, I know he worked with them a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's kind of kind of true. Let's um, we're gonna wrap it up on, on the hip hop. What do you think about like for you? I want to know for you how you feel about seeing TJ and, 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 and little Jason, big Jason, All right. man, seeing the kids of right. your peers. Right. You got TJ and Jason Mozell. That's J Master J's kids. You got um Big Pun son, mm -hmm. little Chris Rivers. Mm -hmm. You have um Ice Cube's kids. You have like I can't. Point, but you have a lot of right. the offspring now doing what you feel about you know, right. CJ. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm sure he's big CJ crazy now, right? Right, big. Like, how do you feel seeing all of this? Like, it's amazing. It's almost like it makes sense, though, right? It's a natural evolution because mm -hmm. what else could they be? But about of their product of mm -hmm. what they grew up in, you know, and entrenched in the culture. So, it's good to see. It's, it's going to be interesting to take it to see where they take it and how the younger generation pushes the envelope mm -hmm. and elevates the culture okay. and, and how they, and, and, and they, I want hip hop to be better than us, where we were. You heard that guys? You know, like, like that's all I want. I don't, I don't want us to go downstairs, I want to go up, up, you know, and I want to watch that so I can point to it and be like, yeah, you know. Knowing that we kind of laid those bricks. Right. You definitely got we it. watch how they break the foundation just get stronger and stronger and how we can do it. That's what's up, man. I'm so, I'm so happy that you, know, you guys get to see this historical.
feel it. I feel the energy. Yeah, I know. And the other thing is I'm having fun, right? right. I promise myself to do this whole thing. That's what I'm doing. I have fun. You know, I remind myself that. So, I have plans, you know. Did you expect the reaction like people like me and other people that like me? I see the reaction and support has been tremendous. Yeah, I have a lot of support, thank God. And like, I see it, like, you know what I mean? Shout out to Big Money, you know, Carl Bates, you know what I mean? He's, he's a tremendous supporter. You know what I mean? Um, I see Noise by Nature, he supports you a lot, the way you're focused on things. And that's great to our relationship, our their style. So that relationship see, is evolving the So did you do that, the Noise by all that? You helped them out with the Noise by Nature? Well, I helped them. I didn't see, there's more history we didn't get into, that's right. the part two. But, but I was just, I was forever, like wow. Tommy Boy Records and all the album covers videos, so we have a lot of history, all those mechanics who used to see Treachin, oh yeah. all that, yeah, so. That, that's incredible. So, so, not only in the, um, you know, in the fashion, but you're definitely a big staple in the music because you got to work with all these artists and the labels and be the first people of, of to create businesses like that, that have businesses mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. that and you said the first. I think that's big because I think that it almost created. We didn't know what we were doing. Let me start there. It wasn't genius in me, but I think that we, we just happened to be one of the first mm -hmm. in terms of um, urban clothing, streetwear clothing. We were the first to really do product placement. You know, I used to get letters from BET. I remember, I wish I would have saved them from BET and MTV mm -hmm. saying, we're not going to show your stuff anymore. You have to stop paying us. And that's when they started doing this. Before they weren't blowing mm -hmm. stuff out. Mm -hmm. They right, started blurring out. Stuff they, out. They, 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 they weren't before that. But then they started until they figured out how they were going to monetize figured, yep, that. They're promoting you. Right. So, you know, we had so much play. Could you tell one life. more thing I want to tell people? Because I was, shout out to Uncle Russell, I was working for Fafcon for a long time. And I was designing. And I learned one big thing. It doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of people try to do color lines. And I say them, and I wish them success. But a lot of key things that they miss and one key element they miss is product placement. Because mm -hmm. you tell these people how important product placement can change your brand to a regular brand to overnight if you put the garment on the right people and those people support you right. as well and they wear it on their own and they, 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 the, the young the young you know audience see people that they look up to wear it so they wear it and then because I've seen a lot right. of Right, definitely. I think that it's funny you say that because I have that tug of war my, with myself now. Mm. I think that it was different. It was more organic. It was, it was more organic and it was a business. But I think because like the technology has opened up mm -hmm. and the internet and everything, you are getting so many visuals at one time. I don't know if it means as much as it did, but I will say this to your point. There are influencers and they're the influence. And that will always be till the end of time. Mm -hmm. So if you can hit the influencers, it helps. Mm -hmm. Because those people that are following the influencers are going to be influenced. And it helps your brand to grow. I, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I understand this about business and everything. But I've just noticed that a lot of successful brands, like for instance, you shout out to these brothers from my neighborhood, Slowbox. You know, they're very successful, but I've, I've noticed the, the key of their success has been the product placement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, I... You I, know your market. If you know your market, you know who the product place mm -hmm. with and who to hit. You know who you're affecting, so it works. Okay. Well, you heard it from sister right here, boss, lady, you know what I mean? Miss April Walker, um, you know. There's so much. I, I could talk to her all day because it's like my sister. This is uh, organically, but I just wanted my viewers to know this is... Nostalgic, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm for the culture, I'm about preserving this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I think mean, people like her need to be honored and pay homage, and, and all this great work that you see behind me it needs to be you know, passed on, it needs to be documented, and it needs to be in, in the clouds, because it's about you know, being a, a, a new agent and all the things that in the clouds. Right. So if I could post things and pictures, and 10 years later, you go up in the clouds and, and search it, that's Yeah, plug, um, how can everyone contact you and things like that? Let them know where they can find you. Yeah, check you out. Well, check us out on our 
social media, walkaware.com, and our website is walkaware.com. And you can also contact me for any questions at contact.walkaware.com. You heard? Shout out to the whole Brooklyn. This is my sister. I love it. Thank you. Oh, boy, y'all, no problem, man. Um, some love right here. Yes, yes, we here. We making history. Man, it's so. <laughs>